Hey everybody, Food Network again, here we are. Okay, so today we have something a little bit spicy to take a look at. Um, this is actually very controversial in the community right now. Um, some people have just decided not to watch this altogether, which is totally fine. If this does not interest you or the content in this video kind of rubs you the wrong way, I completely understand. Um, I have not watched it yet. Sometimes I'll give these vlogs a once through and then go through it and everything. So this will be my raw as fuck, you guys, view of this video. But I have kind of gotten the notion that this is not really a place that has the best sort of practices or has the best upkeep for their animals. Um, they're going to some type of exhibit. And at this exhibit, you see animals. And you can take pictures with them. You can walk up to them. You can hold them. You can give them a hug. You can get a portrait or whatever. Um, you know how, like, sometimes you'll go to an amusement park and, like, at a certain point of the roller coaster ride, they'll take your picture of you going, like, like kind of like that, but except it's with tigers. So I guess that they go to a place like this. Um, and the tigers visibly don't seem to be doing too hot. And there's kind of uh, speculation as to why that might be. So let's take a look at it. I honestly don't know what to expect. I'm only telling you what I have heard through other facets of Girl World. So let's hop in. Sawadika, so, welcome back. So Tiger Park in Pattaya, Thailand is an attraction that allows its paying guests to purchase the opportunity to pet tigers of all sizes. When you enter, you need to purchase the ticket that you want. There's also a souvenir shop where you can purchase little tiger stuffies. Uh, you can purchase things like keychains, all tiger themed, of course. <laughs> and they have different size of stuffies they have medium big and they even have a humongous one for sale and it's wearing a party hat how cute i'm just getting out our vlogging mics these boya microphones are amazing for the price guys i'm gonna do a video on them later there's a little cafeteria area you can purchase food and beverage People are taking pictures here with the big tigers. We're taking pictures with the smaller tigers. <laughs> okay, let's see. Don'ts. Do's and don'ts. Aw, their head is the cutest part. <laughs> wow. Whoa, soap this time. Interesting. Now, when they went to the first cat cafe, I mean, the cats were a lot smaller, but when they went to the first cat cafe and she filmed herself washing her hands, it was just water. This time we're getting soap. Okay. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Just washing our hands. Let's see the tigers. They only be high, don't stay to the front pause. Hmm. Inside have staff stay, we stop all the time, don't walk alone. You can take a picture for yourself, no flash. No flash, yeah. no hurry, no video call. No flash, yes. Mm. So we stay in the middle here or from the back? Okay. Back Hello guys, I'm so excited to pet those little baby tigers. Hello guys, we are here at the Pattaya Tiger Park and we are about to get in now. We are about to go in and see some small tigers. You can choose between big... I, I don't know what it is about what she's wearing, but I'm just thinking of a teacup for some reason. Like, is there some type of teacup design that's like famous that... I, I don't know. I, I just keep thinking of a cup of tea when I look at her. Big, medium, or small. We're seeing the smaller ones. There was less of a waves. 
And the smaller ones are so cute as well, so we're gonna go see them and give them some attention. I cannot wait to pet the small cute tigers. Me neither, let's go. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> what a cutie! Oh my gosh! He's rolling on the floor. I know! <laughs> He's playful. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! So what do they call? <laughs> um, if any, honestly, first impression off of just seeing that, the tiger seemed a little bit confused. Like, did, didn't really know what was going on. Um, and when I think of a tiger, I think of a ferocious being. I, I think of, um, I don't know, anger and jumping around and very energetic. This is kind of acting like a house cat, you know, like a, like a, if you were to like dangle like a ball of yarn over a house cat and it was just kind of like pawing at it a little bit. That's, th this is a ferocious animal. This, this is the king of the jungle, right? <laughs> It's it's just kind of strange to see it acting like it's like a house animal. Hello. <laughs> so what are they called? <laughs> Those are the big ones. Oh my gosh. No way. Like this, for example. And I hate to pause it so quickly, but I mean, would a... Would a tiger really like this? I mean, say say it was taking a nap or say it was sleeping. Do we really think that it would feel comfortable taking a nap or sleeping with all of these humans, like, within 10 feet of it? it it's front and center. It, it's quite literally in the middle of everything taking a nap. That just doesn't seem very characteristic of a wild animal. Big ones? Oh, my gosh. No way. We can go? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought we were petting the baby ones. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what a gorgeous animal. I'm a little freaked out. It's a good thing he's sleeping, I guess. Yeah, he's sleeping, I think. <laughs> oh, hi. Sweetie. You afraid, babe? A little. <laughs> so very I don't think that you can see it because of my head, but all of the employees in this place have this little stick. You see where my mouse is right now? They have this little bit of stick. And I mean, we know the purpose of that thing. And to be honest, I don't really like that they have the stick. It's kind of like dance, do something, interact with our paying customers. I don't know, kind of rubbing me the wrong way, quite quite literally. I mean, if this tiger weren't sleeping right now, I, I feel like this employee right here would have no problem taking that stick and like jamming it into the tiger and do something. <sighs> Very, their paws are huge. Wow, gorgeous. <laughs> Hi. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Aww. <laughs> you want to turn? Yeah. <laughs> He's cute, eh? <laughs> oh, Salah finally putting his hands on a big beast. So I, I guess that the employee near them is their photographer too. So is he going to follow them around the whole time? So I, I don't know. Are you, are you like assigned an employee? Like, like when you pay the $17 admission fee, does someone follow you around with a camera and a stick? Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe the stick. I, I mean, I can just that, like based off of the things that I've heard about this facility, but just walking around this, like, like, Dance, monkey, dance. 
It's terrible. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> He's fast asleep. This one is awake. I, I don't know if that's the pose for you, Sala. I, I, I mean, like in, in particular, like you in particular. I, I'm not sure if you're gonna pose with anything. That this is it. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe a peace sign would be more suitable. That one? Yeah. This one is very sleepy. Oh. Actually, too many people would be scared about this, but don't worry, because here they train them, they take care of them uh, to be friendly with the people. Yeah. I'm not scared like 1% at all. Nice. Aww. It's a very nice experience. Yeah. Yeah, we see how they train them. It's with that little stick. And who knows what go I mean, seriously, who, kn who knows what goes on behind closed doors? I mean, once everybody goes home and then nobody's around and all the employees, like, they train them. I mean, just seeing the training that we do get to see, I don't agree with it. I, I can't imagine the with the training that I don't get to see. <laughs> Beautiful. So let's see the awake one. Hello. Hi. Oh, pretty guy. Pretty tiger. That's amazing. <laughs> oh. Wow, beautiful creature. What do they eat? Meat? A lot of meat? Chicken. Chicken. Oh. Hold it. Yeah, pull the tail. Oh, it is heavy. <laughs> oh. No. I, I can't think of one animal in existence where it would be a good idea to pull their tail. Yeah, 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 pull. Yeah, Chantal, pull the tail. Like, what are you saying? Pull the tail. Honestly, this tiger seems delirious. It seems high. It seems confused. It doesn't really know what's going on. I mean, did you see the way that like they just pulled the tiger's tail and it kind of looked around like, oh, like, what was that? Huh? What, what was that? Like, this is not the characteristic. When, when, anytime that I've seen a tiger on TV or in a movie or honestly at a zoo, I mean, I've only been to a handful of zoos in my life, but every time I've seen a tiger, this isn't it. This is how I would expect, like, my 16-year-old Yorkie to be acting. Like, kind of confused, delirious, tired, doesn't really know what's going on. Not a gigantic tiger like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, pull the tail. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I know that these two don't think, but really, really? Yeah, 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 pull the tiger's tail. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, so cute. Chantal with a tiger. <laughs> there you go, your tail back. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. It's, it's not even really looking at anything in particular either, because if Sala is standing right here and its pupils are kind of facing in like a diagonal direction and she's back there, it's, it's not looking at anything in particular. I mean, if you're receiving stimulation from someone petting you on the back and someone standing in front of you holding something in your face, you'd think that the tiger would be looking at one of those two people, not off to the side into nothingness. Weird. Weird. The, the, this is not how this kind of animal acts. But oh, yeah, 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 they take care of them. They're being taken care of. This is taking care of them. 
Hello. <laughs> Bitte. Wow. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Okay. It's okay. Oh, he likes hearts. You want to try? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Look at the size of the paws. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi. To the camera. Hello. Here. <laughs> Huge paws. Wow. <laughs> I said no. I mean, Chantal is a little bit more respectful of them, but he, he's just like an idiot. Here, look at the camera. Like, talking to a tiger. Look at the camera. Pull its tail. Like, acting like it's your puppet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't like to be bugged, I'm sure. Aw, but you're so pretty and majestic. The eye of the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I just, I'm just like looking at the dangling paws right here and everything. I'm just thinking like, you know, like what if you were to just turn around and like swat him in the face? But, you know, kind of remind, I've never had a cat, but I've, there's like this thing that you can do. I don't know if this is commonplace around the world or if this is just a United States thing or whatever, but some people will get their, claw, uh, their cat's claws like removed out of their paw, like quite literally, like. It's not even just like cu cutting off their claw either. It's like cutting off like the nail or like the knuckle of the the paw. Or it's it's cruel. It's very cruel. But the reason why people do it is because when they have domesticated cats like this and house cats or whatever, they don't want them jumping on furniture and ripping things up. So they have their nails taken off, which is in a way mutilating the animal. But it's still something that people choose to do. I I'd imagine in a place like this, this is what they do too. Um, I mean, it's still a cat, technically, so I'd imagine you could really do this with any animal. It doesn't even need to be a cat. So on top of everything that we're seeing, these delirious giants just kind of sitting around looking confused, on top of that, there have been a lot of things that have been done to their body to ensure that they can't hurt anybody. Because really, if he were to just turn around, if he were to get like, I don't know, like a something in his eye, like something didn't reg like something he didn't like about style or whatever, just turned around and whacked him. I mean, that could be it. So but they probably have taken that precaution. And then it kind of even makes me think, like, what have they done to the teeth? Like have they like done something to the tiger's teeth too? Beautiful eyes. Hi. It's wonderful, really. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hi. <laughs> we are here with the cute tiger. Very cute. Yes. And this 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 was supposed to be the awake one. This one's on the verge of falling asleep too. So I, I'm just saying, like, it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence that of the three tigers we've seen, all three of them have kind of been confused and delirious and kind of loopy and looking around, kind of taking a nap. I mean, the first one we saw was on its back, like kind of just like playing with its paws a little bit. The second one was asleep and then this one's falling asleep. That's not a coincidence. You like the scratchies. Yes. Okay, I'll scratch you. Can we scratch you? <laughs> I'll scratch you. Hi. Look at this tiger, guys. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> so pretty. Hi. <laughs> Very intimidating. <laughs> A family picture. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so beautiful. Yes. Aww. Like this? I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh! So cute! Hi! 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 <laughs> Look at the paws, they're huge! I, I mean, honestly, this isn't this isn't a tiger exhibit. This is a shell of a tiger. Yeah, it, it's a tiger. Yeah, it's conscious, but honestly, it's like a vegetable. It's like a zombie. Like if if you want to go to an exhibit and see a bunch of zombie tigers, I guess. But this this isn't a tiger. You're not actually meeting a real tiger this this is not it <laughs> this is sad i can understand why a lot of people didn't want to watch this video <laughs> hi pretty girl <laughs> okay okay guys oh. <laughs> what like this <laughs> hi <laughs> So this tiger, her name is Chatai, and she is female. Her age is 10 months old. Yes. Yeah, imagine she is only 10 months old. Yeah, wow. Like, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> but she's cute, though. Very. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. <laughs> imagine also there is a medium and big size than this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so this considered as a small tiger. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so gorgeous. You're a pretty woman. Pretty woman. <laughs> <laughs> Walking down the street. Aww. Pretty woman. Beautiful. Walking down the street. <laughs> pretty woman. <laughs> bye bye. She's sleepy or what? Yeah. Bye bye. This tiger had no idea that that interaction just occurred. Uh, I mean, seriously, th this tiger probably didn't even know that there were people interacting with it. Just, just right then and there. I mean, these tigers have to be so doped up, like just so delirious. Have n they? They can't even like pick up on normal senses. Like just like look, staring off into space as someone is touching their back. Just have no idea what is going on. Oh my. Hi. She's sad because she's gonna miss us, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, No, she's sad because she got taken away from her home and drugged up. Leave us alone. <laughs> actually, actually, you know what? The tiger was probably born into this. It, honestly, it's probably easier for a facility like this to just breed them instead of going out into the wild and taking them. I, I mean, just start them out young, I guess. Oh god. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Hi. 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 So the ones that actually do have a little bit of wherewithal and aren't just completely doped up actually go in a cage. Because, I, I, I mean, unless you were to, like, permanently cognitively impair the animal i mean eventually whatever you gave it would wear off so the ones that they take on to the floor to be seen and touched or whatever those are the ones that get a lot of it but once it kind of wears off and everything they all right back in the cage so you, we're kind of kind of seeing them back in their normal form this this is how a tiger should act he's angry yeah <laughs> look at this one baby five months Mm. Oh, what a sweetie! Yes, you are. <laughs> so we have some photos that they they took and framed for us. It's beautiful. This one's nice. And the, look at this one. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hi, babe. It's 
So we're waiting to get a souvenir. It's 300 baht per picture. They frame it for you. And we're just gonna get one. Um, so we're see waiting to see which one is the best one of the two of us with the tiger. <laughs> we'll show you this at home, but we're getting one of this, us together like this with the tiger. <laughs> All right, guys, and that's what I call an amazing experience ever. It was so awesome. The tigers are beautiful creatures. Amazing to see them up close, but honestly, I was a bit scared, were you? Yeah, I thought that from the uh, beginning, before we come here, but after I came here, all the fear disappeared. <laughs> you are brave. <laughs> Same as you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they were, they were very, very, very well-behaved and cute creatures, and it was amazing to come here. It's highly recommended, as usual. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, so we're going to end the video here, and until the next one, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye, guys. Bye. <laughs>